In this mold conversion problem, we're going to start with 122 grams of copper 2 nitrate, also called cupric nitrate, and we're going to convert it to how many nitrate ions there would be in that sample weighing 122 grams. As always, we have to write the compound correctly, so copper 2 means that we're starting with the copper 2 plus um, ion, and the polyatomic ion nitrate you'd have to look up or memorize is NO3 with a one minus charge. So to make this ionic compound neutral, you'll need two nitrate ions so that again the positive charge of two plus adds up to the negative charge and equals zero. So when we write copper two nitrate or cupric nitrate, it's gonna be Cu parentheses NO3 and a two. The next step is we do have mass, so we are going to need to calculate the formula mass or the molar mass for this ionic compound. Copper has a molar mass on the periodic table of 63.546, and then we're going to need nitrogen's atomic mass and again oxygen's atomic mass. So again, copper was 63.546 grams of copper for every one mole of copper. Nitrogen is uh, 14.007 grams of nitrogen for every one mole of nitrogen. And then when this compound, we have two uh, nitrogen atoms in that nitrate ion. And then the next element is oxygen, which is 15.999 grams of oxygen for every one mole of oxygen. And then you need to be very careful that you get the correct number of oxygen. There's three oxygens per nitrate, so that means that it's six total oxygen atoms. So when you multiply 15.99 times six, two times the 14.007, and then you add the 63.546, you'll get a um, formula mass or a molar mass for this ionic compound of 187.554 grams for copper two nitrate for every one mole of copper two nitrate. So the next step is to start with our given, which is 122 grams of copper two nitrate. And then we're gonna convert from grams to moles. And again, in the addition of all that, we have 187.554 grams for copper two nitrate for every one mole of copper two nitrate. So currently right now, if we were to stop this calculation, we'd have the mole amount, but we want a, a, a countable particle amount. So we will have to go through uh, Avogadro's number again, which again is one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23 um, particles. It's an ionic compound, so the proper label in unit is formula units, and then again of copper two nitrate. And again, that's very one mole of copper two nitrate, sticking with my number unit label. We have one more conversion with this one. This is what makes this problem a little extra difficult compared to the other ones is we have to look at how many nitrates there are for every copper two nitrate compound. And for every one formula unit of our copper two nitrate ionic compound, we have two ions of that nitrate. So when I do the calculation, I'm gonna divide by the atomic mass or the molar mass, sorry, of copper two nitrate We'll multiply by Avogadro's number, and then we'll have to multiply it by two because for every one of these copper um, two nitrate units, I get two nitrate ions. So you'll have to grab your calculator and have 122 divided by 187.554, then multiply it by Avogadro's number, and then that would be our answer if we were to stop at how many formula units there were but we're gonna multiply it by two because for every one formula unit, we're gonna get two ions. We have three significant figures at the beginning of this problem, so our answer would be 7.83 times 
times 10 to the 23rd ions of a nitrate. And again, having our answer with the correct significant figures, the proper scientific notation, uh, a label, and a unit.